plaintiff, Iris Vicario, dated the defendant, and she claims he is a serial breeder who has 13 children with 13 women. And Iris is pregnant with number 14. Iris says while dating and living together, she caught the defendant in their home with a half-naked woman. And she's suing today for the cost of a truck. Defendant Matthew Culpepper insists he only has six children by six different women. And he claims Iris has some nerve criticizing him because she's pregnant with her fifth child. Matthew's countersuing because he claims Iris not only assaulted him with a frying pan, but she threatened him with a pair of scissors. Start with you. Um, Your Honor, my ex, Matthew Culpepper, the defendant, is a serial breeder. Serial what? Serial breeder. He has 13 different children by 13 different women. Can you prove that? Can you prove that? When people respond like you, it's usually true. Um, I... <laughs> <laughs> prove it! Can you prove it? Instead of saying, what are you um, talking about? No, I don't. That's a lie. I have six by six different All women. Right. Let's get six it by correct. six different women? Well, yeah. set, well, Why so many different women? I'm six and a half years clean and sober, if you want the God honest and truth. Mm -hmm. Before I got clean, my life was a total mess. All right. And I don't have anything to do with them children because their mothers don't allow me to. Court won't allow you either? No, they Why? took the rights away. I know, but you can petition the court to reinstate them. I have been working on that. So you blame all your uh, deadbeat ways on your drug addiction? Not at all. So I'm six and a half years you clean. Use that as and I'm a single father of two children at this mm -hmm. point. So that means you have eight children? No. Okay. I have six total. Uh -huh. Two of the children that I have, I have in my you care. You have custody of yes. them. But okay, he doesn't but take you, care of them. When I ask you why would you have so many children by so many different women, your response was because you were a drug Lifestyle. addict. Lifestyle. Pardon me? Lifestyle. Yeah, your drug addiction? That's what you blame it on? It's reality. Is it, what do you blame it on? Just your ethics and your morals? <laughs> he blames and it on the And could ways and your deadbeat attitude? Yeah, you could call it that at the yeah. time. Yeah. What do you mean? It still is. How so? Because you're a deadbeat. You just said you can't mm -hmm. see him. Do you pay child support on them all? Nope. All right, that's called deadbeat. I don't have now, you're rights. You're taking this so lightly. Here you're leaving these kids with their mother. They're probably growing up in poverty. You're in here playing it lightly like, it's no problem. It's my drugs. It was the drugs. I can't see them now. It was the drugs. It was the drugs. Oh, I'm not fighting to see them. I just can't see them because it was the drugs. Well... Go ahead. How many man. children do you have? See, how many do you have by how many, how many different have? fathers? Five children? This is my fifth baby, yes. By how, how many, many different you have? fathers? Three. All three of the fathers pay child support? Two, yes. Two of my <laughs> children are adopted, and I don't really have access to them. Let's move on. You all out here making these babies you can't <laughs> take care of and won't take care of. <laughs> Go right ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. So, this is his pattern. He, he gets with women, he chimes the pants off of them, literally, and uh, gets them pregnant and cheats on them and leaves them. Um, He's very controlling, controlling to the point where he actually gave me this list. Can I show you this list? Mm -hmm. Let's see it, please. I, I have what is that? Um, it's a list of um, how I should Congratulations. You, you seem like you're this... expecting. I'm not yeah. trying to be funny. No, it's his baby. It's 14. Um, what do you that's... mean, 14? This is his 14th baby. You just said 12 a minute ago, but that's I okay. Said, actually, no. I said you had 13, and this is 14. That's the Did list... you know that before getting No, I actually found you? that out after we broke up the last time because some of the old... The baby's mamas contacted me and said, you know, I'm sorry you're going through you broke this. after you up? That yeah. they contacted you? Yeah. So while going with him, how many children did you think he had? I thought he had six. All right, and so you figured, ah, oh, he can afford a seventh? No, I actually... <laughs> It's, go ahead, let's go Actually, I knew I can afford it because I was paying all the bills, but... You could um, afford seven children? Uh, no, um, I couldn't afford the ones that we had. How many did you have since you felt you could afford another one? How many <laughs> did you have? We had three together. In your household, you were raising three children? Yes. With the father there in the household? No, he... Well, no, um... Right, so what makes you think you can afford a fourth then? If he's I... not even in the household for the three already, let's move on. I pray that they're not poor. Okay, the list and you have in front of ahead. you is, um, a list that he gave let's me Let's move on. on to the, uh, truck that you're suing for. I don't the want truck. to talk oh. about the kids that you <laughs> all are about to leave in poverty. The truck I got because I was under the impression that we were going to be happy and be together. The truck I got because we needed a bigger vehicle for our family. When was have... that? We know that. Yeah, right. 
Did you get an 18-wheeler? <laughs> When was it, ma'am, that you either purchased or it gave him August the money? It was August 25th. August 25th, you purchased a truck? August 25th, uh, he asked me to take out $3,500 out of my bank account for the down payment on a truck. I was I was paying for the truck, and he mm -hmm. was going to pay the bills. I had wanted to pay, pay bills. Pay the, the household bills? The household bills for us all to live. Okay, that was the agreement. That was the tentative agreement, yeah. All right, and how long did you all stay together? Um, that was two weeks before I found a half-naked woman in my house after dropping off my son, and I moved out, mm -hmm. and he moved her in the same day. And she wasn't moved in. His Facebook, so two he's weeks already later, in a relationship with someone. Two weeks Honor. later, Listen, hold everything... on, sir. Two weeks later, he uh, starts seeing someone else. Yes. I had to move you out. You moved. Yes. All right. Well, because he had a woman okay. in my house. Yeah, I understand. I heard <laughs> you before. I don't care about all these babies and women that you all are associated with. You've told me what you like. Mm -hmm. You've told me that you guys make babies that you don't take care of. Got that. Can we move on? <laughs> yeah. Plaintiff Iris Vicario dated the defendant, and she claims he has 13 children with 13 women, and she's pregnant with number 14. Two weeks later, you moved out. Approximately two weeks, maybe. All right. And so, therefore, that agreement to take care of all the house bills was no longer in effect. I exactly. guess that's what you're suggesting. All right. And, sir, you wanted to interrupt and say what? First of all, she's stating that the initial money was for a truck. That's not accurate. I have photos here that say multiple different things. From day to day, her Photo. story. Photo. Yes, photos of Facebook messages okay. from her. Let's see it, please. Um, can I just say something? Yes. Um, those are actually easily fabricated. All you have to do is delete some and move them around mm -hmm. and then just okay. make them say whatever you I want. I also have say. text messages here that state uh, she's giving me $4,000 in severance to get rid of me. That was, no. No mm -hmm. what? No. No what? That was a conversation that we had mm -hmm. a long time before the truck was even discussed. Anybody have evidence of when the truck was um, I do. purchased? Let's I do see. as well. So this it's is the easy issue about this date because I see when okay. your text messages That's were written. So we'll see when yes. it was purchased. The, yeah, the truck was purchased yes. after. Approximately when? I need That's to know dates. That's the date dates. that the truck was purchased, when and the money that was, was taken out. August 25th? No, September 25th. 29th? I'm sorry. Or 25th? 25th, yeah. All right. I thought you told me August I'm 25th. sorry. I just got the month wrong. Because that's a big difference. That is exactly what this uh, would verify, that it was 4000 for severance. You said to him, I'm giving you 4000 for severance. Just coincidentally, uh, 10 days later, he bought the truck. No, I did not. Well, yes, that is what happened. And I'm looking take, right at it. To take that one step further, you Your told Honor, him you're giving four thousand for severance to break up the money I give you for room and board. It will help or whatever you want to do with it. You that told him room, that, that and then to... on September 25th, based on your own testimony, you gave him the money. The... You told him you was gonna give it to him. Ten days later, you did. The text message he has hey, says He's giving that away $4,000 to a man so who has six the, other children. If I read what, ma'am? If you read the text message, it says, money for me to pay my bills to live in the house that he kicked me out of. I don't see anything about monies for he you. obviously I see monies that. to him. That's what I'm reading. And he you admit, ma'am, you admit to telling him that you were giving him $4,000. You tried to switch up the dates on me, and when I asked for evidence, yeah, oh, yeah, I was a month off. I'm sorry. I, I just got the months wrong. I understand, but the proof is in the pudding. You it's told him, 10 days early, I will give you 4000 when we break up to do what you want with. 10 days later, you gave him 3500 You still owe him 500 doesn't you? <laughs> you still 500 <laughs> All this baby this, baby that. What's your counterclaim for, sir? Emotional distress, how does she owe you? As soon as she got pregnant, I found out everything about her was a total lie, okay? She informed me, including everybody in the program, had sponsees that she had six years clean. Along I with you were in recovery. You both were recovering drugs. Correct, but oh, there's yeah. a big difference between five months clean and six years clean. She told you six she, years. Not only did she tell me, she told everybody. She had sponsees, mm -hmm. everybody that she was telling that. I got it, sir. How does that cause, okay. how does that end, also, how does okay. that cause you to get $2,000? The violence, the frying pan that she threw in my face that I have a permanent scar from. That All was right. an accident. And it was you... an accident. <laughs> yeah, it was an accident. It was. I 
turned my back in the heat of an argument. We were in an argument. I turned my back to walk away. She said, hey, I turn around and the next thing I know, I'm down. Blood everywhere. That's not true. The mm. final stall, the reason no we split up our relationship was because she came at me with scissors after she told me, you're not going anywhere in that truck. She took scissors out to the parking lot, tried to stab I the did. tire, I went to and then came the back tires. after me with the scissors. That was the final straw in the relationship. No, the final straw was in the relationship. I was took care of you the last four months. That's you were already moved out. Mm -hmm. No, I All wasn't right. moved yes, out. Was. Actually, I have proof of that, too. Mm -hmm. I'd like to see that. Uh, you don't get to see anything. Well, I'm, I'm fine. I'm, I'm fine with Ever. proof. I'm fine Until with you proof. get home to your little child um, girlfriend. Let me, let me give my, my ruling. She's first of all, first that. of all, that's disgusting. Mm -hmm. First of all, both of you are disgusting <laughs> the way you're having all these children <laughs> and not taking care of them. <clears throat> secondly, secondly ma'am, you're claiming that you gave him that money to purchase a car for the family. Yes. However, I read in this uh, text message you acknowledge sending to him saying, $4,000 for severance. Then your bank account shows, indeed, 10 days later, you gave him $3,500 toward that $4,000. We made up then after Ma'am, that's argument. enough, that's enough. With regard to your emotional distress, he hit you with a pan or whatever. It was an accident. <laughs> so, both of you have a good day, and your claims are dismissed. Have a good day. Hey. Next time you take somebody to court, make sure you're telling the truth. Oh, pot calling the kettle black much, don't you think? Oh, look who oh, decided yeah, to talk I up. Know. Who Surprise, are you? By the way, I'm here. Oh, you're her little crackhead friend. Oh, actually, I'm not That's a adorable. But you are. Who am I? Crackhead friend, you made six babies on marijuana. You're born. Oh, and six a babies? Dead bait on is it marijuana? six or is it 13? It's 13. You can't I can even only keep up your own it. lies, you idiot. And you kicked out. No, 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 Matt. You kicked out a pregnant woman. Oh, I kicked so her out? Oh. I was there. I'm the one. You who was there. In. And you know what? Oh. How about you stop dragging your three-year-old down the, around the house by My her three hair? My three-year-old? How old yeah. is she? She's three. She's two. You three moron. in two in two months, you idiot. I'm an idiot. You don't even know her birth year. That's why it's wrong. On I don't all know records, what it is. Stupid wow. How angry are you really right now? Actually, you know what? I'm not. Let really me angry. ask you I something. I feel sorry for you. You're you a feel sick, sorry for me. Yeah. I'm glad I'm done with. We recently spoke with plaintiff Iris Vicario, who told us that looking back, she regrets taking defendant Matthew Culpepper to court. At the time, Iris says she was upset because Matthew cheated. However, they reconciled a few months after their case and got married in 2018. Iris says their daughter, whom she was pregnant with during the case, is now seven. And both she and Matthew have matured a great deal since appearing before Judge Mathis.